Hi friends, I'm glad you're here. Today we're making a small batch of chocolate peanut butter oatmeal no-bake cookies. Just a small batch. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm doing is putting my heat on medium. And I'm adding a half cup of sugar, a tablespoon of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa powder, and if you like yours really chocolatey, you can add a little bit more. To be honest, my husband likes it closer to two tablespoons. I like it closer to one. So it's just kind of up to you on that. I have three tablespoons of unsweetened almond milk. You can use the milk of your choice, really. And I have two tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use butter if you prefer. I'm going to stir these together. I'm going to wait till it comes to a full boil and then I'm going to time it for one, one and a half, maybe two minutes. I would suggest that you guys look at the, the ingredient list and get all your ingredients together ahead of time um, just because this happens quick. Also get yourself a, a pan lined with uh, wax paper a cookie sheet or something like that to, to drop your cookies in. Okay, so it's come to a full boil here, and so I'm going to start timing it for about two minutes. I'm gonna stir it periodically. Okay. In two minutes, I'm going to take it off the heat for a bit. I'm going to add in four tablespoons of peanut butter or a fourth of a cup. that peanut butter in really good. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. You can add just a half teaspoon if you prefer, but I really like the flavor of vanilla. I'll stir that in. And now I'm going to add two-thirds cups of oats. And here if you're if you need a little if yours is a little runny you want it a little thicker you can add a little bit more oats you can uh, if yours is a more on the thick side then you can kind of thin it down with a little bit of milk it's just kind of up to you start dropping these by the spoonfuls and after you get get them dipped out you'll need to refrigerate them so that they'll harden all right now I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and let them firm up that's basically all there is to it, guys. You can add um, you can add some chopped nuts to it also if you if you'd like if you like to if you like a little bit of pecan or something like that in your cookies, it goes really well with this. So here's our cookies after just a few minutes of cooling in the refrigerator. I'm give them a try for you guys. Mmm, they're really good. You'll see they don't make a whole lot for them to be left sitting around. If you're like me, that's probably a no-no. <laughs> anyway, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching. <laughs>